Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and break them down to bite-sized pieces. So next up, we're going to go over a question of the day, and this is from Andrew, and he's got a problem with Voyager, which uh, I could not answer this question, so I reached out and uh, listened to the response. So let's jump in the office. So everybody, welcome uh, back to the office. we got the, the cue of the day. So the question actually comes to us from Andrew, and he talks about, he says, Hey, Dan, thanks for all the videos. Welcome. I do my best. He says, I know you're always pushing Voyager. However, I must say I have nothing but issues. At the moment, my assets are literally stuck there. Their policy regarding withdrawal transfer is five business days after your asset purchase. However, I have deposits made on July 30th that still have not cleared. Now, keep in mind, this is a couple of days ago, um, probably three days ago. He says, I want to transfer my Bitcoin, ETH, and others to my ledger, but simply can't. And support offers no explanation or time frame. So, I reached out to Voyager, my uh, very limited contacts, and uh, they said, yeah, sure, we'd love to answer that question. And why don't you just talk to uh, you know, uh, Steve Ehrlich, uh, the CEO. I said, sure, why not? Why don't we get him on here? So Steve, welcome. Thanks for coming on. And that is the basis of the question. I'm going to rephrase it just to make sure. this simplify. So when someone deposits cash in their Voyager account, the policy for digital asset withdrawal is five days. So why is this policy in place and why does sometimes it takes a little bit longer than those five days? Okay. It's, it's, it's actually the reason why cryptocurrency exists, right? Mm-hmm. And I think it's, uh, it all deals with the banks. You know, we run an ACH, you know, every, everyone who brings money in, you, you connect your bank account using something called Plaid, which is pretty much what everybody uses in the fintech space. Uh, and we have a payment processor that moves the money from your bank account to our bank account so we can buy the, the crypto for you. Uh, the problem is the ACH system settles on three or four business days and, and they have timeline from when you can upload and when you get, you batch it and upload it to the processor. So if you deposit your money on a Saturday, then there's no chance of uploading it to the bank until at least Monday evening because they don't do it first thing in the morning. It's a set time every single day. So re- reason why then we have the policy is that you deposit your funds. Uh, it takes at least three business days to clear through the bank. Um, and that's after we approve it. You know, we've got to approve it first. We don't automatically approve everything. We actually make sure you are who you are and bank account matches your name and all that stuff. So there's a lot of process that goes on it. But we have to wait three business days to get the funds. So we make sure that money comes in and clears. Meanwhile, we're actually buying the currency on your behalf right now. And we're actually spotting the money. So that's what our instant deposit is is that we're giving you that credit for that money and allowing you to buy anyway. So we wait for that money to clear before we allow you to actually remove the crypto from the platform. Um, It's just being safe. It's being secure with your own assets and the company being secure with our assets. Yeah, Steve, I got you. So that was the the thing I got. When I signed up, I remember I signed up, I used the app, KYC AML, and then I connected my bank account via Plaid. And then from there, uh, I was able to make purchases of cryptocurrencies. Correct. That's and that's what I remember. And I haven't taken anything. I mean, I've only I've taken a couple of things off, but initially I didn't do anything. So that's the big deal. We can go in there, connect with Plaid, buy those cryptocurrencies we want right now, but it's going to take us five days because of the big banking bank. system. Yeah, gotcha. big bank. And you know, that's why again, that's why I always come back to why crypto makes sense. Because once you're in the ecosystem and your cash gets converted from cash into a cryptocurrency, uh, that's why we recommend you know, we we really push people to convert cash to a stable coin and we're offering interest on all those stable coins with USDC, the, the 6%. I mean, like we want people in the ecosystem because if you want to take your USDC and spend it somewhere, then there's no holes. There's no timeframes on it because it's just the initial time frame and entering the ecosystem with your dollars. So, and eventually we're working on a debit card. So you'll be able to spend your, your USDC as well. Yeah. And two things. So I know it's mostly ACH, automatic clearing house. Yep. There is wires available, but uh, not too much, or is that misconception? You can always wire. We, we, you know, you can email support if you want to wire. Mm-hmm. Wires are a great way. You get instant access to your money, and right. you could pull your crypto off uh, the minute you know your wire hits and you buy. That's automatic. Problem with the wire system is your bank will probably charge you $25 or $30. Uh, it's a pain <laughs> in the neck to do, and many of them have limits even on that. You know, I, I've been a a banking customer of Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citibank for years. Yeah. And each one has different fees and limits on the account. So you might be small and you wind up paying $30 for a $5,000 wire, you're paying too much. And yeah. so that's not a great system either. 
that's the banks, that's the banks for you. And that's just how it is. Okay. Yep. So, so, so the second question is building out from, from that one. Thanks for the answer. So why can we only take about half the digital assets off the platform? So right now there's around, we've got around 40, somewhere around there. I think yep. uh, 21, we can take off like, like the big guys, uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin cash, that other thing. But things that uh, people are like hot right now, uh, Cardano and Chain, for example, which is half one of two of those just can't do it. So What's going on and at some point that's going to be available and why is that? We're working hard every day to keep adding coins in the protocols uh, to add coins so that you can actually withdraw or deposit uh, on both accounts. And, and the deposits are just equally important because we want people to bring assets on because we can start off. We offer interest on a couple of those coins like Cardano today, but people who have Cardano somewhere else can't bring them on yet. Uh, so we're working hard. It's just a matter of writing to every single protocol and making sure that we do it, we test it, we QA it, uh, it goes through our security process, everything, and that takes time. But our goal is to get every coin to be able to transfer in or out and make it a more accessible system for everybody. That's our goal. Sounds good. Yeah, because everybody on, on the channel is different. Like I got a spectrum. Some people are like, I need it all on my ledger. And the other ones, the other side are like, I don't care, it's making money. And there's, and there's always people in the middle. So I had to ask the question. Okay. And then uh, lastly, I'll say that in yesterday's vid, uh, video I talked about um, exchanges and these wallets, they really work for us. So it's not the other way around, you know. And I said, go to where you are treated best. And so for all the different applications and different wallets and exchanges that are out there, this is, I'm just talking to everybody right now listening, go to where you're treated best. Uh, I've been treated pretty good with Voyager. When I've asked the questions for customer support, it's been 12 or 24 hours. And I got to say, that's a big thing. Also, um, if you noticed, uh, Steve is here. Steve is a CEO and he sits down with us to give us the answer. So when you're looking at different options out there, just remember this video. And uh, that's all I'll say about that. So thanks for coming on, Steve. And then the last thing, um, I want to share with you this Andrew, who the, the question came from. He actually gave us some feedback. So I'm just going to tell you, and this was just uh, yesterday. So he said, uh, Rob, just watch the video. Thanks for the shout out. Can't wait to see the CEO uh, interview. Sure. He said, definitely holding on my Tezos, um, update to my funds. And it looks like the ACH de deposits are still pending, but it's, it, it has been five days, six days. And then we talked about what that, that was with the bank. So that would answer the question. Yeah. He says they had some kind of problem with their recurring buys uh, for four to five days. All of mine rejected from ETH to Bitcoin. I'll be giving another go at this uh, as my funds arrive. And I check my account and every single day I've had the same three come out, which is uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and VeChain. So I know they're working, just sometimes there's a little glitch. And this goes to everybody right now. You can never be perfect. That's just how it is. We try for perfection. Sometimes we just don't hit it. But he does say this. On the positive, my two limit buys went through on Cardano and Vet today when the price dropped to my target. So that was excellent. Customer service seems to be more responsive as well, giving me more detailed answers. I think this app and company have a lot to offer. I just think they need to tweak a few things and they will be champions. So that's what he says. I love that feedback. But look, I think, you know, and I appreciate you having me on, really do. I love speaking to customers, current customers, future customers. Um, a lot of them try, you know, I get LinkedIn messages. I get Telegram messages from customers and try to respond to everybody. Um, Twitter, they, they, they tag me in Twitter and ask me questions. And we really try to respond to everybody because we are, you said it right, we are here because of the customer. Our job is to always get better every day, deliver service to customers. And this is, when you talk about crypto, it's a decentralized network. And if we're not doing the work and, and trying to deliver the best product for customers and best service for customers, we shouldn't be in business. You know, that's, there's no reason to be in business unless that's what you're going to do. So we're accessible. I'm accessible. I would say to all your, your, your listeners and watchers, and hey, if you want to reach out to me or, or the company, just go to Twitter. Uh, happy to answer questions. I try to get to almost as many as I can every single day. Uh, you know, watching sports now that it's on, I can watch sports and answer questions. Uh, watch it before it disappears, happy. Steve. Watch it before it disappears. I know. It's, it's looking, uh, I'm a big baseball fan, big New York Yankee fan. Grew up <sighs> in the New York area. Uh, sorry to all those, uh, other fans out there, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, who knows if we're going to get through this season. I don't know. Hey, it, it's a good point that we'll see what happens just like the cryptocurrency market in general, right? Here's a bonus question. Um, I was on Alex Maschioli's show 
And then I was researching it and I saw that you were on the same show. It was you and John Nanjarian. You talked about something where you said that there were exchanges, FX, you were talking about how they were giving uh, traders 100x leverage and they were saying, you know, shoot for the moon and they were getting blown out like crazy. And you said that is the wrong strategy. And you talked about how education is key. Uh, you brought on John and you said, we're going to team up for Market Rebellion to do some type of um, teaching for trading or something like that. Yep. I have never, I, I haven't heard about that in this space as far as like teaching the customer to be a better trader uh, so they don't get blown out because I see it, I see it in my field all the time. People are, you know, stop losses are getting ran over, they get uh, wrecked and just like a, a continuous basis. So is that what's going on? Can you speak yeah, to that? Yeah, we, we were so excited to, to have John and Pete and, and Dirk Muller uh, as part of our team now and, and as investors into, uh, into Voyager. And the whole reason was to get set up so that they've built to our APIs. They're bringing education to the crypto markets. John and Pete are two of the most knowledgeable option traders in the marketplace. And they've really started to learn and doing a great job on the crypto side. And they have a whole team of people uh, willing and helping people learn how to trade crypto. To me, it's so hard to get a customer. We put so much effort into getting consumers. Our job is to actually make them successful. You know, we're supposed to be here to drive wealth and success not to always get new customers. And I said it on that show. I've seen that 100 to 1 leverage game before. Uh, it's a recipe for disaster. It never ends well for consumers. <laughs> Less than 1% yeah. of those that take advantage make actual money. Uh, and all those exchanges and folks want to do is just keep taking your capital. They're not there to be your partner. They're there to take your money and put it in their pockets. Our job is to make you guys money, make all the customers money. Uh, especially in, in the environment we're in today, you know, zero interest rate environment, uh, let you earn money on interest, be successful traders. Can't be, there's no one better to teach than John and Pete and the Market Rebellion guys. Uh, should be out over the next three or four weeks, uh, you know, be live to the market. And I would recommend everybody go test out that platform. And, and you get the same through that platform. You get the Voyager, you can link your Voyager account and trade right into your Voyager account. So awesome. it doesn't get better than that. Education, trading, all in one place. Sounds good. I'm not a trader, and I've talked about that many times on my channel, I'm just an investor, but for the smarter people, they'll sign up for that. So fantastic. So Steve, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be watching. Looks like a good oh, thing. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you uh, taking the time, letting your, your audience learn a little bit more about us. Okay. I hope that answered Andrew's question. Uh, just for the sake of knowledge, if you look in the description of every one of my videos, there's going to be a link. It's going to look like this. And what that's for, uh, it is going to link into my exchange fees and wallets. And it's just a breakdown of everything that I have or am using or have used in the past. And it kind of just breaks everything down. So like you've got the Celsius, the Voyager, my one-two punch that we just talked about a lot. And it goes over the different fees. We've got Coinbase, Gemini, Binance, Simple Swap, Kraken, eToro, Crypto.com. And some I just don't recommend. Uh, I'll just tell you off the bat. But uh, it's got everything that you really need to know as far as like the fees and then what the APR rate is. At the very top, uh, you don't have to use my affiliate links. You can go right to Voyager and download the app. You can go right to Coinbase and sign up. But if you use the links, it'll give you between 10 and $25, depending on what you sign up for. So go ahead and give that a shot. Since we're here, why don't we do scam of the day? And again, if you look in the description, there's a link, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna link you to scam of the day. And uh, the reason I did this is because I was tired of people getting screwed out of their money. So uh, we created this because there's so many scams and uh, hopefully it's, uh, I mean, we got rid of some, but there sh still are a lot and we just have to do our part, right? We do what we can, when we can. And uh, let's just take the very last one here and I'm going to show you what to watch out for. So we're going to click on the link. It's going to take us to this nonsense right here. Of, yeah, there's Vitalik just talking about whatever he talks about, which usually goes over my head. And what we're looking for is, first we're going to take a look at the comments. There's no comments. And that's very strange for a video that has 53,000 views. So I don't know what's going on there. And then uh, also, what we're looking for is an asymmetrical giveaway. So it says here, and this is a legit uh, video with Vitalik Buterin. And he's probably saying something smart. But what we're looking for here, it says to participate, send us between 1 to 100 ETH. Or send us 2 ETH to get 200 back. Um, so that's what's gonna happen. So for every one ETH you're gonna send, they're gonna give you two back. That's not gonna happen. That's an asymmetrical giveaway and that's a scam. So don't just take my word for it. You can uh, contact through Telegram, the uh, 
uh, Ethereum Foundation. If you if you see one with CZ Binance, you can email uh, Binance. If you see one with Brian Armstrong, I'm sure you can you know email Coinbase. Good luck getting a response. <laughs> but no, seriously, usually able to give you some kind of response. And just ask them, hey, you guys giving away free money? No. You guys giving away free beer coin? No. Free Ethereum? No. And uh, they're going to tell you no. But uh, don't just take my word for it. Do your own research. But if you do believe me, uh, there's something you can do. Very easy. Just dislike this. Click on these three little dots right here. Click on report. And then go to spam or misleading. And a little drop down box action, scams and fraud. Click next. And then just say, hey, this is a scam. And then click report and you're done. So hopefully we can get rid of that and go uh, forward. Now remember, you are probably very savvy and I'm sure this you wouldn't fall for this, but there's a lot of new people coming in and we really do need to protect this space because uh, YouTube's not gonna help us. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. So um, that is it. So look, if you like these types of videos, there's going to be uh, two videos are going to show uh, pop up on your left and right. Don't know what they are because YouTube has control of that. Uh, just like maybe the scam ads you saw in the very beginning or middle or end. I have no control over that. That's all YouTube. Uh, go complain to them. And uh, that's all I got for today. So thanks for sticking around. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.